Hello and welcome to the third and final video looking at the Tau Empire in Battlefleet Gothic Armada. So we're going to be looking at some basic strategy and tactics. So you'll notice that for all my Tau ships I pretty much have the same lot of upgrades. I have given them the Void Battle Suits the Adaptive Deflectors, the Improved Augur Array, and Maneuvering Thrusters. So this is because they all pretty much play exactly the same way. It doesn't really matter. So the only difference obviously being here in the Light Cruisers, where I don't actually have ordnance on these ships, so they're a little bit different. I've had to increase the range on the Ion Cannons to get them up to being 9,000 like the rest. And I've managed to get belt armor onto them as well. They're a bit higher level. You also notice for the bigger ships, I've gone water cast. And then for my smaller ships, I have gone earth cast on my light cruisers. And I've gone fire cast on the other ones. Now, I don't really at this level use the Dal Is that much. But they're there. It's not a bad upgrade, I can tell you. Right. And to tell you the truth, most of the time when I am using them, it is actually against Orcs, so it's not too bad to have that extra uh, troop value going for them. So they're pretty much only there for Orcs, so they're pretty much fitted out to take on Orcs specifically. These are certainly better for General. Now you can't have favours, unfortunately, on the Auxiliary ships, but you'll see I run two demi urges. Again, these are more or less specifically for a race. They generally only come out against Eldar. I have found they are extremely useful against Eldar. So, in saying that, let's get cracking into a battle and see what I get. So, the way I set up my fleet will very much depend on who I'm facing. <laughs> I'm facing other Tau. Well, that's always interesting. So, we're going to go with the Custodian. We're going to go with a Viola. And we're going to go with a Sarkaia. You'll see that that uses up all my points. So that gives me the three ships plus the three escort ships that come with the Custodian. So we're going to pop in. So the idea here is pretty much overwhelming firepower. So that Custodian puts out a stupid amount of firepower. The Cruiser does as well. And I pretty much have to use the Sky Sark because of points now this is a tower unique feature during the deployment phase you choose between Mont Ka or Kao Yong so Kao Yong says that you get essentially less accuracy loss at range so I'm actually going to choose that one because I'm facing other towers so odd time this engagement is going to happen over decent range it's also the one I tend to use against chaos Otherwise, most of the time I go with Mont Car. Imperials, it can be a bit of a toss-up as to which one you use, because they may stay at range, they may get in close. Orcs and Eldar, though, will definitely get in close, so will Space Marines generally, so I go with Mont Car. As you can see, Mont Car is quite useful. So, enemy ships troop value reduced by 5, and in addition, the chances of destroying a targeted system on a ship are quadrupled instead of doubled, this bonus is also applied to critical damage caused by weaponry. So it is an overall useful, but for the longer range engage engagements, I just go straight up for, well, hopefully I'll hit more often. So, having a look at the battlefield. Oof. Well, I don't actually particularly like that. I am not the biggest fan of an empty battlefield as Tau, but I am going against other Tau, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm just going to go for the really big open space so they can't hide in those as they're a little bit closer to their end of the battlefield. So I essentially use my escort ships as scouts slash a screening force. So we'll just chuck that in. Now, if you haven't used the settings to set these up, for some weird reason, they will be default set to frontal engagement, despite the fact they have no frontal weapons, unlike pretty much every other tower ship, so you will have to change to broadside. Just keep that in mind. 
So I want to go to roughly halfway up the board and just tell him to go and sit there. Right, and we're going to place the custodian in the middle. The viola on one side and the saskia on the other side. Now, I'm just going to send this straight up the middle. About three to four square grid squares behind where I've set my Nikasar Dows to go. Given this is tower, I might go four. Now, the thing is with this, so I will set it up here, but I'll probably have to bring it a little bit across when I actually send it up. Otherwise, I'll find it's out of range of... Uh, yeah, that should be enough. Otherwise, I find it's out of range of my repair drones. Whereas I don't have quite the same problem with the viola. But I'll bring it in a little bit anyhow, just to be on the safe side. Right, so that's all the setup done. So let's get going. So, first thing. Get my fighters out. And use my auger probe. So that looks like a nice big concentration of them there. Right, so the way I've got Dow set up is that they get themselves the improved auger array so they're better at scouting. The additional voids and the additional shield capacitors so that they just last a bit longer. They're relatively tanky anyhow with the 200 and 200 shield to start with. They've also got a high turn rate which is nice and they do actually put out a decent whack of damage but I like making sure they last a bit longer they are a screening force other in the end so you also see they get this interesting sort of wake pattern that's because they're technically using psychic propulsion alrighty so, so what I love about this is I can essentially just fire off some torps and because I suspect that I may have issues hitting with all of them I'm going to fire two lots of torps at them and I should practically kill at least that one so these will actually have a decent chance of shooting down ordnance So we'll see how we go before I start firing off my ordnance. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Alright, so we'll take down that one. Okay. And we'll take you down. While I send these after them. So pretty much I'm going to sit here with these in just a battle line and not moving them at the moment. They will, the AI will go after these first, as you can see. But as you can see, I do chew through them fairly quickly. Now, the other thing I quickly want to do is I want to be getting that going. And you'll see that they've already cooled down. But what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to start shooting at the bigger ships. Oh, so I've lost my first one, but they've pretty much lost all of theirs. Right, so they're using the smaller Demiurges. Oh boy. Yeah. 
So that team going. Damn it. Oh, that's really. Okay, so. We're just gonna do this. And you're gonna see huge amounts of his hull disappear. And my. Reserve Nikasars are up. Alrighty, still on cooldown there. Oh, oh, that's annoying. But as you can see, I am more than handily taking care of that. I did not realize I'd done that, but that's fine. We're getting back soon enough. He's fine to do that. Make sure of this. So now I'm going to have to actually do this because I don't quite have the angles right. Right. That should be enough to kill him. Actually, it's probably overkill. Yeah. Now, realistically, I just need to get these guys down to 30%, then they will run. So, that's also something to keep in mind if you're playing tower with your mercenary ships. And you'll see there, he's already gone insubordinate, but I am going to kill him before he can run. That is just straight up down to the stupid amount of damage I can actually put out with these guys in a small amount of time. So you'll see here, he pretty much just died to a Manta bombing run and some Seeker missiles. So you saw there the large, large amount of damage done with my bombers and the heavy Seeker missiles. I pretty much took half, over half his health off with that one go. So that's Tau in a nutshell, really. Very, 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 very large amounts of damage. Fairly consistent, too, as their normal weapons are still putting out a pretty consistent amount. But you want to form that single battle line and just sit there. Let your screen ships do their job and screen you while you're firing through you're going to tear apart their smaller ships in no time flat. And then you can start working on the larger ships. So that setup that you just saw is my fairly standard setup against most things. Like I said, Eldar, I'll tend to use the Demiurges instead of the Custodian. And for Orcs, I'll tend to take both my Dal Iths with two of the Cruisers. I tend to find that works very well against them. I've given... My Dal is the grav gravity wave projectors, so it helps keep the orcs away. And I've given them the fire cast upgrade to help me uh, in protecting against them. And I'm able to get off a decent number of fire on boards against those orcs, which just really helps chew through their rather large amount of hull points quite quickly. So that's it. That is tower covered off.
I hope you found this useful and informative. And I will see you with something else in the future.